Hi queens, how are we? I'm going to do a little Princess Polly try on haul for you guys, but I'm going to do it a bit differently this time and I'm going to do it with a Q&A. So basically, I'm going to be catching up with you guys, answering your questions, which I know you guys love. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a little Princess Polly try on haul for you guys and each question I'm going to try on a new outfit and talk you through it. So this is outfit number one. Basically, I don't really have to say much about Princess Polly because I do these hauls all the time and you guys love them. But yeah, if you need a last minute outfit, Princess Polly is the place to go. They seriously have the fastest shipping. It's honestly incredible. It's like as soon as you place an order, Someone runs to the warehouse and packs it straight away and puts it in an Ozpo truck like it's insane. I also have a code for you guys. It's Sophia20 and that will save you some money on the Princess Polly website. So don't forget to use that at checkout. I love Princess Polly. They do amazingly fast shipping and they also do international shipping as well. And they just have such a cute selection of stuff and they always have new stuff. So yeah, this is a really spring kind of theme vibe haul. Got lots of linen, lots of matching sets, lots of little tops and pants, which is the vibe that I love for spring. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys the first outfit and answer the first question. So this is the first fit. I've gone for a kind of charcoal slate vibe with this and I love this fit it's really cute it's really spring it's like pants and a little top is like exactly my vibe honestly all throughout the year I and mean, if it's winter I'll just add a jacket but big pants little top is like my favorite combo so yeah we've got these kind of contrast stitching honestly they look like kind of like carpenter pants like work pants but I love that they're really cute they're really comfy they sit beautifully I love like I would say this is kind of like low rise but more kind of mid where like if you sit down you know like your undies aren't gonna come out but yeah, I love these pants. They're really cute. I absolutely love the color. And I just feel like, I don't know, I love the contrast sti stitching and this little like detail on the leg. These ones are full length and they're really nice length on me. I'm 5'8", so I find that sometimes pants can be a bit short on me. And I feel like these are perfect for the tall girlies. I'm not tall, but if you're tall, I feel like these will work perfectly. And then I just paired it with this kind of two strap top. One kind of goes across and one kind of goes up obviously you guys have eyes i don't really need to explain that it's like princess polly's like signature material i feel and it's like my favorite i don't really know of any other brand doing this like material and i, I feel like princess polly does it a lot and it's so comfy and thin and like breathable almost feels like swimsuit material and it's just so stretchy you obviously have this pulled more down i have it kind of sitting up which is how i like so there's a bit of stomach between the pants but yeah i love this top it's cute it's comfy i feel like you can also wear this strap straight that's how i had it on before but i feel like it's supposed to go over the shoulder but i feel like you can do it both ways like it works both ways so two tops in one which we love okay let's find a question tips for putting together a casual but fashionable outfit i love this question it's really suitable for the haul so basically i would say if i'm honestly really struggling and sometimes i do sometimes i'm like just looking in the mirror and i'm like i have no idea what to wear and i know that i have so many clothes but it's just like honestly such a mental block i my go-to will be big pants little top like that's just my go-to obviously it depends on what suits your body type some people like big top little pants like little booty shorts like an oversized tee kind of tucked up but my go-to what i feel like suits my body is like big pants little top vibe so if i want to put together like a cute casual fit and make it fashionable my one tip i would say would be jewelry and like accessories so honestly like my go-to fit would be something like this like big comfy cargo with baggy pants and then like a little top something different like something flattering it's still casual but it makes it cool i honestly feel like this is a perfect question for this outfit because i feel like this is like such a casual outfit like you could honestly wear this anywhere and you could honestly dress this up and do like kitten heels and wear this out but i would probably wear this with like sandals or sneakers and literally do anything in this shopping go to the markets day-to-day -day outfit running errands and I feel like this is already cute and I don't even have that many like accessories. But yeah, I love this. So yeah, that would be my tip. Kind of find what suits your body, whether that's small pants, little top or vice versa. And just find what suits your body and then just don't overthink it, I feel like. And find cute tops like this that you can pair so many different ways. Like you could do this with a little mini skirt and some boots. You could do this with jeans and sandals. You could do this with this outfit and honestly dress it up or down. So yeah, I'm going to put on the next outfit. Okay, let's put on the next fit. Okay, next outfit, I honestly feel like this is the most perfect spring vibe outfit. Like, it's still not too summery and not too wintry. I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got this long maxi skirt on and this button up with the same print. I've also got the same print in pants, which I'll show you next. Also, the next outfit, I'm going to style this maxi skirt with this bodysuit and kind of show you a different way you can style these pieces. Because I feel like if you're not too much of a pattern girly and you don't want to do the full t-shirt and skirt to match, this like little plain white bodysuit with this maxi skirt would be so cute. And then you could even do this button up still but open. But I love this. I feel like kind of also touching on the last question, how to put together a cute casual outfit. Matching sets, like honestly, they are so easy. You don't know what to wear, put on a matching set. You know it matches, you know it looks good together, and you're just ready to run out the door. But yeah, I love this. It's like the most breathable kind of material. If I had a bra on, I'd probably tuck one side up so you can see the skirt. But yeah, I love this. As soon as I saw this on the Prince Polly website, it was like immediately added to my car. I just think like the print is so cute. 
and very spring vibes and just very breathable material. I love me a maxi skirt. Not really like a mini skirt girly, but maxi, I love. Okay, let's find another question. Okay, I feel like this is a very suitable question. What do I wear to formal that's not expensive and big bust friendly? So I can't really help you in the big bust department, although I know Princess Polly does have good sizing, but I know Princess Polly has really affordable dresses. I actually don't have any like formal or any really dresses in this haul, but a lot of my other Princess Polly hauls, I do usually have a lot of nice like maxi flowy dresses. I have one in mind. It's like this yellow color and it has like ruffles all the way down it. And ever since I got that, I was just thinking how perfect it'd be for formal. And I feel like it would be big bust friendly because it's just, it doesn't have like, it's not too booby. So I feel like it would work for way. Okay, here's the next fit. I love this. I feel like this is a lot more me. Like once again, little top kind of flowy bottoms. I love this bodysuit. It's like such a thick ribbed material. Like the quality of this honestly feels amazing. And it looks really cute. Honestly, you can't go wrong with a plain white flattering bodysuit. Like you'll have that in your wardrobe for years. And they will obviously go with everything, especially white is so nice for spring and summer. I love this combo. I love a bodysuit with a maxi. And then also like some cute sandals would be such a vibe. So love how Princess Polly bodysuits have like the clip at the bottom. There's nothing worse than having to get fully undressed when you want to go to the bathroom. But yeah, I love this. Honestly, really flattering. And I feel like it looks really cute with this print. Opinion on Cody and Kelsey's relationship. Oh my God. So you guys know I'm obsessed with Cody Curry and obsessed with Kelsey Co, I guess now, Kelsey Crubble. Um, I love them so much. I can't believe they're having a baby. Like, what the heck? I, I literally cried when I saw their Instagram post. But the only reason I'm answering this question is because I need to tell you I had a dream, well, I guess a nightmare, the other night that I've only literally just remembered is not real. Well, I guess, I think it's not real. No, it was definitely a dream. I had this nightmare where Cody broke up with Kelsey and he was dating some new influencer. Who was it? Some YouTuber. Oh, I can see her face. Alicia Marie, I think. So random. And in the nightmare, I was like heartbroken. Like I was like, oh my God, love is not real. Like this is insane. They like, they literally, oh, in the dream, I think they were, I don't know if they were married in the in nightmare. I think they were only engaged. But I was like, oh my God, this cannot be real. And I only just remember that I had that. So, but I guess to answer the question, I love them. And if I saw them, I think I'd probably faint. Okay, same print, but I'm going to try on the pants. I feel like I'm going to love these because I love me. Just a baggy kind of, I don't know if these are, I guess they're like a linen-y pant, but I feel like this is going to be gorge. Okay, yep, I love these. Like the perfect baggy pant. For reference, I got these in an Oz 10. Any kind of tops I'll usually get in like an 8, unless it's like a t-shirt that I want to be like oversized. But I'm usually an 8 slash small. In some Princess Polly pants, I do tend to size up just because I want a baggy kind of oversized look. But if I get any different sizes besides an 8, I'll let you know. So in this kind of linen baggy kind of um, print that I got, I got them all in a 10. But this bodysuit will be an 8 or a small. But I love these pants. These are so cute. They're really good length on me. They literally go past my feet, which we love. And I feel like you get so much wear out of these, even in like summer with like a bikini just to literally chuck on. These pants out with like heels. Or like sandals running errands or literally as like a big cover-up like so versatile and i also want to show you guys like how you can wear this button up just like over like not buttoned up like just as like a shirt over the bodysuit like it would look really cute open like this like that is so cute this is literally like this is like my perfect spring outfit like this is such spring vibes like this is so cute like even with like a little white heel if you want to dress it up but i wear this probably like white sandals or even white sneakers so like a picnic or a lunch this is like my perfect ideal spring outfit it's so cute and just like so like this is exactly what i was saying about the first outfit like if you saw someone wearing this or if i saw someone wearing this i feel like i'd be like wow they look put together but really it's just a set and a white bodysuit but because it's a set and this is just like off the shoulder like model of judy vibes like it just gives such like didn't even try I love this. Wow, I love this open. So cute. I got this. Oh, I got this one in a size 8, this button up. So I feel like to stick true to size with this because this is quite oversized. So I feel like this naturally is oversized. But yeah, I got this in an 8. So probably stick true to size with this because I feel like if I sized up anymore, it'd be like really, really big. Okay, next up we have some black kind of linen pants. My camera battery is flashing, so we might have to switch over to phone. But yeah, black linen kind of like fancy almost like work pants i feel but i'm gonna pair these with this black bodysuit brb i'm just gonna keep filming on the camera until it dies but it is flashing so it will eventually die i'll have to switch to phone but that's okay i swore she was like fully charged but whatever 
Wow, these are really comfy. I feel like I don't really be able to see them that well. For some reason, my camera lighting is really dark. But they're like high-waisted. They have a pocket. I feel like this would be really good if you have to wear black pants to work. Because they're really comfy and thin. You're not going to be like sweating in spring or summer. But they look like fancy. And they have like the pleating at the front. I love these. Really good length. Really easy to style. I'm not really a black girly too much in spring and summer. I like to stick to my colour. But if you were to pair these with like a light coloured bodysuit like this, I feel like it would really be a vibe. But yeah, I love these. These are super comfy. They definitely sit more high-waisted, but I love how they're not, like, suffocating me. These ones are a size 10, so I sized up in these, and I'm glad I did, because if I feel like they were, if they were an 8, I feel like they'd be, like, a fitted pant. And I like more of, like, the just breathable kind of baggy fit. But yeah, I love these. These are cute. Okay, let's try and get a question before the camera dies. Okay, this is a fun one. Favourite Starbucks order? I would say, honestly, just, like, an iced latte. I do have to get geek. Decaf. I do have to get decaf. I know everyone's gonna be like, why do you even get coffee if it's decaf? I literally get coffee because I like the taste. Only cold coffee though, not hot coffee. Like I'll only get iced. But I would say honestly, just like an iced latte. I used to have caramel syrup, but now I don't even really get caramel syrup anymore. I literally just get an iced latte. I really have such a boring Starbucks order. Like I feel like everyone's like, cold brew, foam, matcha. Like I literally just get an iced latte and decaf. Oh, almond milk as well. I can't do full cream milk. That's a crime next up i'm so excited for these these are from lioness so princess polly stocks like a few other brands i think stock lioness i got these in a medium and they have like this gorgeous almost like lettuce leaf hem at the top like pleating and the drawstring which we love and they're just like these long nude linen pants like this is just gonna look so cute with this white bodysuit honestly I'm probably not gonna take this off for the rest of the haul no i will i have a few other tops but this is these are honestly going to be so cute, perfect for spring. They feel so like thin and breathable, but they're still quality. Like they still have the pockets, they still have the drawstring. So I'm going to chuck these on. I honestly feel like I'm going to end up living in these. They are back. I'm going to put them on. Okay, well, I love these. These are the perfect baggy linen. And I love this color. I feel like these are the pants where you could honestly bring them up higher and just do them up tighter. Or you could literally wear these like so low. But I love these. They're honestly like such good length. Like they're so long. And obviously, if you're a short girl, you could even roll them or just bring them up higher and do them up with the drawstring. I got these in the medium. I honestly probably could have done a small. I feel like these are naturally more of an oversized, but I'm glad I got the medium because I like mine super baggy and also quite long. But I love these. I feel like these are be really wearable. Once again, cute, like even corset top and heels and you're good to go. Or this and like sneakers. I feel like these pants can really be dressed up or down. But I love these and I love the color. Okay, let's find a question. Okay, we have switched to the phone, as you guys have probably definitely noticed. But someone said, I want to move overseas after I graduate, but my boyfriend refuses. Help. Honestly, as you guys know, I'm very like, do what you want to do. Like, so I might be a bit biased. And obviously, don't just listen to me. Obviously, get a few opinions. But I would say that boyfriends come and go, obviously, which is not a very nice thing. And maybe you guys will be together forever. But I feel like if you really are meant to be, you can get back together after you grad after you travel. Like... Not that they'll wait for you, but, like, if it's meant to be, it'll be. Like, I don't think you should put your life on hold for someone that you might not even be with for the rest of your life. And I don't know. Maybe you guys have the best relationship. Like, I need more context to kind of comment. You guys might be literally made for each other. But I just feel like if you really want to do this, you should do it. And you shouldn't let a boy stop you. You know what I mean? Obviously, you guys are together. It's not just some random boy. But I feel like... Also, if that was really your dream, he would be all for it and do it with you. And obviously, people have reasons that they can't, etc. But I feel like you should do it. And maybe you can even compromise and just do it for a year. Even if you want to do it for three years, do it for a year. You might go over there and not even love it. So I just feel like you should do it and do what you feel like is best for you. And if you're meant to be, your paths will come back together. Okay, so yeah. Love this fit. Really cute. Really wearable. Um, let's get on to the next. Okay, next up we have this absolutely gorge maxi skirt which is actually really long on me which i love like if i'm just standing still it like flows on like sits like it sits on the ground like it's it lays on the ground like that's how long it is which we love obviously i am wearing it really low waisted so if you were a shorter girl you could definitely pull it up or even fold it which i feel like you can get away with this kind of material like because it's so like flowy and casual but yeah i love this skirt it's like kind of tiered and once again has the drawstring i just love this i love this material how you can wear it higher or lower like it's kind of just whatever you want or whatever you feel like you want to wear i would wear mine probably like here like mid rise but really comfy really flowy really breathable once again i feel like you could dress up or down i'd probably just do this more of like a dress down look with like sneakers or sandals or even like cute thong sandals and then i've just paired it with this top once again that same kind of material as before 
I love this top because you literally get two tops. You get like a casual everyday kind of bandeau. And I love this. So flattering, so comfy, so thin and breathable. But it actually is supposed to be worn with this necktie. I love this. You guys know I absolutely love the flower trend. And I love how it's not a part of the top like it is. And it looks like it's supposed to go together because it is. But you can take it off and easily just have the bandeau. Like you can wear this with pants and heels. And then when you don't want to have such a moment, you can literally take this off and wear this with like denim shorts to the beach. So for the money you're spending on this top, you're literally getting two whole different tops and two whole different vibes. But I love this. I absolutely love the flower trend. I feel like it's just something different. And then you can literally easily take it off. So it's really comfortable, like it doesn't feel like it's going to strangle me because I feel like some materials in this trend are very like itchy. Also like something around your neck can be really irritating, but this is like the silkiest like sort of material. You'd honestly use this anywhere, like you could use this as a belt, you could use this as a necktie. But yeah, that's the next fit. Also I have this gorge swimsuit, which I'm going to try on because I feel like it would go really well with the maxi skirt. Okay, and this is the one piece, I absolutely love this, very summer holiday vibes. It does come with cups, which I've removed on this side and left this side in so you can see kind of both. I'm not really a cup girly, so I'd probably take these out, but I still love how you have the option because if you want cups, you can leave them in. If you don't, it literally takes two seconds to remove it. So I love that they still give you the option, but yeah, I absolutely love this. Honestly, like really cute with the maxi. You can almost wear this kind of as a bodysuit as well, not just a swimsuit. So once again, you get multiple different vibes and wears out of one piece. Yeah, I love this. I love the orange, I love the flowers. It's very fun. It's giving like Hawaii vacay vibes. It actually also comes with straps. So you can have it like not as a bandeau. You can have it with straps, which I really love that you get the option because once again, you kind of literally get two different tops. Next up, Shock Horror, we have another matching kind of linen set. Okay, and here is the set. I'm going to be living in these pants. They're honestly so comfortable. Once again, really good length. And they have the drawstring and this is the button up. I honestly probably could have stuck true to size in the top i'm glad i got a 10 in the pants but i feel like in the shirt i could have done an eight i'm not really complaining though because i kind of love how it's really big i feel like this will look a lot better like open a cute top underneath but i love this i love this together if i was wearing a bra i would definitely tuck one of the sides up so you can kind of see each piece clearly it's such breathable material and i actually love the buttons how they have that little bit of like gold i feel like that's a really cute detail so i love how you could have this like fully buttoned up and you could have like a gold necklace poking like over it really freaking cute like that is such a slave you just like tucked the back up but yeah i love this set honestly linen is such a vibe definitely my spring summer favorite it's just so wearable and so cute and you can make it really cute with like gold jewelry heaps of bangles heaps of nice laid necklaces you could even undo this one more and you could even have like a bikini on underneath or you could even literally have it off the shoulder there's literally so many different ways you can wear a button up, which is why I love it. But I feel like off the shoulder is really cute. Kind of shows some more skin and makes it a bit more summer vibes. Okay, next up we have this kind of high neck top, which I absolutely love. It's got like the ruching um, down the side. Okay, cute. Okay, this is the grey high neck top. I love how you've got like a really nice big sleeve area so it's not strangling you under the armpits. And I actually love like a mock neck detail i feel like it looks really classy and elevated especially if you pair it with like a nice jewelry you could literally wear this with like a cute mini skirt and knee-high boots or pants and heels i love this i love how it sits like i said the ruching detail how it comes up because then it leaves this kind of scoop and like cinches your waist i just love a high neck i feel like it's such a good transitional piece from winter to summer like a nice spring piece it's still high neck it's still like kind of winter vibes but then it doesn't have any sleeves Someone said it should I be thinking about my future or living in the present hell. This is honestly so relatable because I feel like we're always trying to think about what's going to happen and what's coming. Struggle to be mindful and kind of live in the moment, which I feel like is so important. The future is going to happen. We honestly can't control it. Obviously, we can do things that can change it. But at the end of the day, we don't know what's going to happen. And I feel like living in the moment is so freaking important because we're going to look back and be like, oh my God, say you had like a birthday party and you were just, or just anything, any little moment or big moment in your life and you were thinking about the future and you weren't even really present in that moment, we're going to look back at photos, memories, whatever, and be like, I remember not even really enjoying that night because I wasn't even really thinking about it or being mindful and grateful. I feel like it's so important to kind of just ground ourselves and be in the moment and love and cherish each day that we get. Very deep and very emotional, but... I feel like we need to focus on the present and live in the moment and practice mindfulness, which is really important. Okay, and last but not least, the final piece. I am obsessed with this. Like, this is the cutest jacket ever. Let me try it on. I feel like jackets are really good for spring because it's kind of like transitioning us out of the colder weather if you pair it with like a cute top and maybe even like a skirt or linen pants. But I'm sorry, look at that. Isn't that just so cute? It's got zippers on the sleeves. and I love the kind of distressed vintage feel kind of feels like thrifted which we love it's got this detail on the shoulders like this is so cute I'm gonna zip it up 
also got pockets which we love i feel like this is really biker jacket definitely giving me like vintage vibes but at like a vintage shop it'd be like 400 dollars Thank you guys so much for watching my haul. I love you and I love you, Princess Polly. Don't forget to use code SOFIA20. There'll also be a link to each of these pieces in the description so you don't have to fight through the website and try and find that. I hate that when you see someone in a piece and you know where it's from. Like, you know the website that it's from, but you cannot find it because you just don't know what to look up. So each of these pieces will be specifically linked in the description as well as my discount code. Don't forget to use that to save yourself some money. But yeah, I love you. I enjoy this. I love to answer questions throughout it too. I feel like it makes it a lot more fun. But yeah, I love you. Thank you for watching and have the best week.